Welcome back to the channel guys and another client feature episode. So today, in fact, I've been waiting so long to feature this car. This car has trended from the time we built it and it's always been an ongoing uh, project to try and chase that perfection. But if you guys want to see more to find out which vehicle this is, stay tuned. This car is possibly one of the best E30s we've built today. Standing behind me guys is possibly, in my opinion, one of the best E30 bowers that we've ever built. And we've built a lot of E30s guys. But this car was just something that was like the discovery of electricity, gravity, the wheel. Um, this car is possibly one of the best E30s we've built today. So much so that People go crazy for it on social media and when they come to the shop and visit it. Um, give you a bit of background, this is a 3 to 5 E30 Bauer. Um, initially, we got tasked by my good friend, I always speak about him in videos. He's actually one of my best friends, Bling. You guys can find him on Instagram. Um, he's my travel inspiration and he's my go-to guy when I need advice. Um, so yeah, he's a very good friend of mine and uh, Bling initially came in just for an interior and after he seen the type of work we do and the possibilities with the car, we decided to go all out and build a car to something crazy, um, which is what you see behind, but it hasn't been an easy journey because Bling is one of those friends that always encourage me, supports my business. Now the first task on the boat was actually to sort the paintwork out. So Bling purchased the car without the intention of having to respray the car. However, when he came through, we pointed out that his car had a lot of flaws on the paintwork and also the panels were different colors. So naturally, uh, the car was stripped down to the shell as you can see in the pictures and we took all the rust out, we replated and we took the car and majority of the areas down to metal and then decided to respray the car. I was so fussy with this car that as it stands, the car has been painted four times. And um, also, why it's been painted four times? Because this car came into a time when we were just starting our paint shop. So I needed to get the quality and the standard higher. So Bling is the type of person that allowed me to do whatever I need to do to get the car to the satisfactory level. Hence us repainting the car four times. Um, You'll notice that the color is a very, very custom color. Um, it's actually Calypso Red, but our version of Calypso Red with a little bit of pearl and masala in the mixture, um, which is the end result, which is what you see here. Um, I can tell you guys that in order to get the color to pop, we put a white undercoat and then we apply the paint. So it's similar to how you paint the candy color, but with the candy you paint silver, this car, in order to make the car pop and the pearls shine a bit more, we added a white base coat. I hope you guys like the color because personally I think it's insane. Now with the paint job sorted, we needed to sort out the wheels. So the wheels you see here is not the initial wheels that were on the car. The first set of wheels was the normal 8.5J, 10J uh, uh, silver BBS wheels. It worked on the car, however, I'm happy that Bling allowed me to change the wheels and the wheel in question is the Chrome BBS wrap wheels, which is 8.5J and 10J rears with the gold studs. Um, I'll tell you something about this car, why we named it Bling, but that will come later on in the video. 
So in order to get the car to look better, you guys know that I'm an air guy. So we decided to bed the car as well. So remember guys, the car came in for interior. We ended up painting it. We ended up changing the wheels and then we ended up doing the air. So the air kit is a normal wireless kit with double bellows in the rear. But the type of look that we wanted to go for was similar to Celeb, where you get fitment at the back and you get tuck in the front. And you guys know in order to achieve that, you gotta run the correct tire size. So we're running a 205 40 17 tire in the back and a 185 35 17 inch tire in the front so the car can tuck and it, we can get the fitment look at the back. What do you guys think of the wheel? Do you guys like the wheel? Do you think it's a good wheel choice? Personally, it's one of my favorite wrap wheels in SA. Uh, due to the scarcity and the cost factor of original BBS wheels, and also the cost factor of the hardware. This is a value for money wheel if you want to make your E30 stand out. What do you guys think? Now we come to an exciting part. Um, and I say exciting and stressful part. Uh, again, Bling allowed me to do whatever I want to on the car. So much so that since I've had the car in my possession, he's only driven the car once. But we're going to chat to him in an interview in a few minutes. But this was the type of car that I was allowed to, if I wasn't happy with something, I could change it, I could change it, I could change it. So the current boot install is the third boot install that we built for the car. And now when I chat to Bling, it's always I tell him, dude, your car has evolved, your car has evolved. So from where it started to where it is now, a major difference, let's call it Bling 2.0. So currently we are running an Alpine 4 channel amplifier. We're running an Alpine uh, 12 inch SVC subwoofer. We've got coaxials in the rear. We've got five and a quarter splits in the front and we've got a Sony Bluetooth unit. Very nice system. If you are looking to put sound in an E30 Bauer or Cabriolet, one of the challenges is getting sound to go through to the rest of the car, especially with the top down. So in order to solve that problem, we cut a little bit on the backboard to allow free airflow so that sound can go through. This is not built for heavy sound. It sounds nice, but it's not built for SPL. It's purely for bling. When bling is standing at the show, he can pump his sound. Or when he's driving, he can either listen to his exhaust system or he can listen to his sound system. Um, so yeah, I'm happy with the boot install. We did, and, and something I want to show you guys is the tank is the initial idea for the tank and we left it covered in the previous interior i'll get to the interior but now the reason for that is personally it's to remind us of how the sky has evolved when it started the first time we built it the second time we built it and now the third time that i redid a lot of the stuff um, so it's a reminder for us and it's a reminder for bling as well to trust me and let me do my thing so what do you guys think? Do you like it? I want to also mention that this is a Chicano specialty. This is a trick I learned back in the day when I was doing SPL, when I still had spikes and I was skinnier and I was wearing bell bottoms, guys. You remember those days? Um, so what we did is we opened up the intern or we opened up the back of the M cover, put LED lights to show the inside of the amplifier for display and aesthetics. I kind of like it because it's always a reminder of where I come from in terms of the sound. So I hope you guys like it. Now you guys will always hear me say things like if I have some car parts that are very special and rare and somebody needs it for a special car, um, I don't mind selling it to make them happy and also to get the car to that level. So this is the second interior done. The first interior was nice, but it wasn't bling nice and it wasn't elegant and classy as you guys can see from the pics here. Um, so with bling telling me to do whatever I need to do to get the car to the stand that I'm happy, we recovered the interior twice. Initially the car never had the E30 sport seats, it had the standard two-door seats. That was changed and we managed to source a set of Ricardo seats. And the leather that's used in this car is leather that I kept one side for one of my personal builds. But again, I'm not a selfish person and I really want Bling to be happy, especially since he supported my business through and through and he's a good friend of mine. 
So I decided to use my Napa leather uh, on his car to get the desired result. This Napa leather is from a Porsche. If you buy a Porsche, you can spec your car with this color leather. Um, so I kept it one side, like I mentioned, for one of my cars. I think personally it looks cool in this car. But because bling is bling, we needed to have a show interior. So we decided to go all out by wrapping the dashboard, uh, putting a wooden steering, putting a replica Alpina wooden gear knob, uh, stitching the consoles, etc. And I want to take your guys' attention to something as well. Instead of doing normal roof liner, we actually diamond stitched the roof liner to go with that bling feel. I love this interior, I love the smell of the interior and I think it matches perfectly with the car. What do you guys think? Um, Bling's very happy, in fact a few nights ago he sent me a message uh, with the difference in the two interiors and uh, when I get messages I get it makes me really happy that we've achieved what we wanted to achieve and also I have a happy customer. This car has taken us a while to do because it's been a car that I've always been evolving and we've always been trying to do stuff differently so we're almost there we're 95% done with the car there's a few touch-ups here and there that we need to do but ultimately this car will be hitting the road very soon and I'm super excited let me take you guys now to the engine bay and show you guys what we did there so engine bay we kind of tidied it up a bit we smoothened out the engine bay we removed all the factory sealant to give the uh, a, a smooth look ideally I think the next step for this car is this car is demanding a wire tuck hopefully I can convince Bling to allow me to do a wire tuck on this car a wire tuck for those of you that don't know you hide all your wires and you basically have no wires showing in the engine bay you just see motor motor itself is a normal 2.5 M20 motor a little bit of head work done performance cam it is running a dictator um, because bling wants to make noise with the car so you guys know dictator is the right thing if you want your car to fuel and if you want to make the pa 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 noise that chip always talks about uh yeah i get people that message me and ask me to send them voice notes with the pa 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 so thank you so much for that guys you make me shy so overall the car is clean it's a full complete show car um engine done custom paint custom interior uh, air suspension, hardline sound. Um, so there's a lot of touches that are done to this car that make this car special. But I think personally, you're never done with the car. And uh, an old car, you can try and fix everything. There's always going to be stuff that you're still going to do. I mean, it happens on my cars. It happens on some customers' cars. And it's also happening on Bling where we think we can do much better. But uh, you've got to figure out now where do you stop? Where do you draw the line? Um, so far I think this car is cool, I really can't wait for this car to start attending shows um, but more importantly I appreciate the fact that Bling was patient with me and he allowed me to build the car according to the standard I wanted so shout out to Bling and uh, we're talking about Bling, I think it's time for you guys to meet him because I always talk about him on any videos, on all my videos so let me introduce you guys to Bling Without further ado guys, let me introduce you to one of my best friends. I always mention him on the video, he's gonna get shy now. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> guys, this is Bling. Uh, I don't know if I should say your full name. Hey, you can say my full name. Or do we call you by your street name? You can call me by my street name, full name, doesn't really matter. <laughs> <laughs> guys, this is Bling, owner of Bling, one of my good <laughs> friends. Thank you so much for joining on Last Minute. Uh, we're supposed to shoot this video a few times before and every time there was either load sharing or Bling was busy or I was busy. So welcome. Oh, wow. uh, no, nice. nice to meet you, sir. Likewise. <laughs> likewise sir. Okay, cool. So, bro, yeah. first question I want to ask you. Yeah. Why an E30? Yo, 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 yo. I guess that's the easiest question, right? Yeah. I mean, you know the whole story. We grew up liking these cars. Yeah. And we've always wanted to drive these cars. We were not inspired growing up by cars we didn't like connect with, you know? Yes. I mean, growing up, I uh, would see like Ferraris and Porsches in magazines and stuff, but yeah. these were our Ferraris when we grew up and our Porsches. Porsches. So it was always a childhood dream for me to own an E30. 
Nice. And uh, yeah, and then uh, that was it, you know? I just decided to buy one and yeah, and that's it. Cool. Yeah. So, so tell us the story how you found this car. Oh, shucks. So I had a couple of mates that had like E30s and stuff, but I've always been like scared to drive an E30, uh, but always wanted to drive one, right? So, so one time I was on Facebook Marketplace, scrolling 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 and then i saw a bauer because i always wanted to own a bauer i love drop tops that's nice. my favorite car nice i like coupes nice i saw this bad boy and i'm like you know what i'm tired of looking for the perfect bauer let me just buy this thing and i'll see what happens then yeah then i got on facebook marketplace um it was in a <laughs> yeah yeah he knows the condition yeah, right in a rough condition in a very rough condition yeah um yeah the speedometer was like a weird freaking bubble blue color yeah and it had like purple knobs everywhere and yeah but anyway uh long story short i bought the car and the interior was terrible so that's the first thing i hated about the car the interior was terrible um wheels cool i could work with the wheels that i had but then i came here to chicanos uh i met tarik on uh youtube actually there was some youtube feature yes yes, you yes, yes, yes. I remember and i was like let me go check out the shop right because yeah. i used to drive past uh, here all the time because i was tired of going to scrap yards and meeting all these mechanics that screw your car over and i was like you know what let me just go see this guy um and then i came here walked into the showroom was blown away totally nice and then yeah i came here for interior and i was like no ways i need my car to be at this level and I've always been following the UK scene. Yeah. Uh, personally, I never thought you could do, uh, you, could, you could pimp cars to this level. And I was like, you know what? Let's do the numbers and you do your thing. Nice. And so, yeah. so, so what's your favorite part of this car? I have to say the stance, man. You know, like I've seen a lot of bowers, uh, same color, but there's just something about the stance, the color of the car, how it matches the wheel, the interior. <laughs> No, the previous interior. The, the previous interior was okay, right? It was okay. It wasn't nice. It was, it was okay because I didn't see, I didn't know better, right? Yeah. But now that I saw the direction that you took with the car, then I realized that the the previous interior was not the best. But nah, this 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 one is is, is beautiful. So there's a lot that I love about the car, but I must say the color, the wheels, the color choice, how everything just works, it blends in well. Nice. It goes with the theme of the car. And I don't know if I'm going to stop though. A lot of people have been asking me, what else do you want to do to the car? <laughs> but yeah, I think personally, I think I'm only 50% there. Yeah. Because we're going gonna to take it to the top. Like, and that's dangerous telling Chuck you're only 50% there. <laughs> yeah, that's very dangerous. <laughs> guys, so maybe you guys can comment to give us suggestions. What else could we do to the car? My my thing is I think we should go with a wire tuck and put a bit more chrome on the engine. Yes. Uh, what do you guys think? Maybe you can give us a suggestion. And um, something that I need people to understand, right? Yeah. yeah. This is your first classic car. That is my first. Yeah, this is my first classic car that my you first, own, right? That I own this. Okay. Um, how many cars did you oh, buy after no. this? <laughs> All right, guys. Like, don't come to Chicanos, man. Yeah. Don't because come to you might you might leave here with a lot of cars. Yeah. So when I came here, this was my first classic car. Um, so while uh, Tariq was working on it, or Chip Musa was yeah. working on it. Sounds weird when you say my real name. He normally just says, "Hey, don't stress, bro." It's weird so, you're calling me by crazy. my name. All right, sorry, Chip. <laughs> <laughs> I've always remember now. Yeah, shut up. So yeah, so while he was working on a car. Um, I got an opportunity to drive a few of his classic cars that he had here for sale and stuff. So every time when I visit here, I see a car. So he showed me his Mercedes Benz. It's a, it's a W123. Uh, the, yeah, four door W123. Beautiful car. I fell in love with Merc. That was the second car that I bought. And then, yeah, then I caught the bug. Then the yeah. Mercedes bug caught me. Yeah. Um, I went on and I bought a W108. Yes. Uh, it's a 1970 something yeah. model. Nice, white, beautiful car. Loved it. Then went on and bought another W123 two door coupe, which we currently mm, own. They're not ready for that. Yeah, one. They're, not they're not ready, ready for that. Green is hot, guys. <laughs> <laughs> they're not ready for that one. And then what else? Oh, then I bought a 380, 318 two, two door, door 318. It's also doing its rounds on the on the net. You must yeah. check it out, guys. Sharp. Um, and then yeah, then I bought a shadow line. Sharp. Yes. So my red shadow line, bling bought it. Um, 
I'm excited for that Paul. Thank you. We're still debating on what we should do with the car. I'm of the opinion we must paint it in red because it's a factory color. Um, but bling, yeah. And, and this is the first time I got into an argument, or not argument, into a debate with the client. Yeah. That we should try and keep the car as close to original OEM plus. Yeah. And bling is like, no dude. Let's custom it. Let's make it one of a kind. 100%. So, uh, yeah, that's something that's exciting. Yes. So, ultimately, what I'm hearing you say is, uh, I'm a bad influence. Terrible influence. And this is all in a year, guys. Yeah, 12 months, right? Year. 12 months. <laughs> so, if you do the math, that's like a car every two months. Yeah. Thank so, that's you. bad. Yeah. That is terrible. Nice. But anyway. So, yeah, I'm a bad influence. A lot of my customers' wives say that. A lot of my friends' wives say that. <laughs> Um, in fact, some of my customers and friends have to lie that they come in to me because the wives believe every time they come here they spend money. And it's not that I'm a good salesman, it's just that this place is, yeah, this place just swallows you up, guys. Like, yes. really. And if you don't have a wife, guys, invest in cars, right? So, yeah. I have six girlfriends. Yeah. So, yeah, this is my number one slay queen. Nice. But my other girls also getting the hair done, nails done, you see? Nice. I'd rather invest in cars. Of course. <laughs> so the interesting thing, you said you'd rather invest in cars. Yeah. How was your perception of cars before you bought this and before you started getting in yeah. versus now? Your sure, classic cars, I didn't I didn't know they, they could go up in, in value in that much, right? Yeah. So I mean, if I look at this car uh, versus me buying it for X amount, it probably went up five, six times the value. Yeah. I mean, I'm getting offers probably eight times the value of the car yeah. currently, right? Yeah. And this is just like my first investment, Yeah. right? And all my other cars I'm keeping because I can see the, invest in, the investment when it comes to collecting cars, it's crazy, Yeah. right? So my perspective changed totally when it came to cars. I always thought cars was a waste of money, a liability, yeah. but buy the right car, then hey, it's an investment for life, right? Nice, 100%. Yeah. So what's your next bucket list car? Yo, that's a very difficult one because I'm caught up between a classic car and yeah. another classic car. Or a supercar. Or a supercar. Ah, right? Love it. But I think I'd rather go for an old school supercar. Yeah. Right? Because I think they would have hit it right in the middle. Yeah. Right? So I think I caught the bug with the Ferraris. Nice. I want an old school Rari. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. And please tell me we're going to bag it. Of course. Everything yes. got to be bad. Everything. Like, there's no OEM in my world. Sorry. Yeah. That makes his sense. life, guys. <laughs> life. I hope you get it, Brian. And knowing you for this, I won't say short period of time, but yeah. I feel like I met you. Like, you know, we got that connection. We're yeah. driving. Yes. We brass, sure. Best friend. Yeah. Guys, you see, I'm buttering him up so I can <laughs> take it for you, right? But one thing I can say about you is that, honestly, you inspire me. And one thing that I love about you is that you always live your life to the fullest yeah. and you don't do things half. So yeah. for example, if you're going to travel, yeah, yeah. you're not just going to travel to the cow train. <laughs> right? You go to Miami. Now and again when I look at your Instagram stories, yeah. I see you sitting on the roof on your Jeep in mountains. Hey. And, and for me, that inspires me in a sense to say that life is short. Yeah, no, you got to love your life to the fullest, 100%. responsibly as well. If you only have 100 rand in your bank account, don't go buy a McFee's Deluxe because exactly. that is bad investment and advice. Don't invest in girls and rather invest in cars until you get a wife. Luckily, I'm married, <laughs> I'm so I can't join that conversation. But yeah, so it's, it's inspiring. And, yeah. and one thing that I can honestly say is that as you grow up in life, and this is advice for all of you young guys as well, and yeah. people that have friends, you gotta choose your circle wisely, and, and you gotta feed off each other. And I think that's what, what I love about my current circle is KB, Caridas, yeah. uh, Tumelo, Ahmed, yes. to name a few, yes. yourself, to name, I've got a lot of friends guys, like I've <laughs> got a hell of a lot of friends, but my circle, that I hang out with inspires me to do better and, and that's what it's about and also that's what the car scene is, is about I mean since we built this car how many replica beams have we seen? Yeah, like we've inspired a lot of designs. We yeah, hundred percent. So like a lot of people wouldn't make uh, put these type of wheels on the E30 and go the common look. Yes. But we said I don't want common looks, you yeah. know? Because I know the way we build cars, we're inspired by 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 the cars that we see overseas. Yes. I mean, this car was trending. I mean, we got guys like E30 Mob in New York going Shout crazy over this guys. car. <laughs> you know, in the UK, they're going crazy over the car. I've got offers from like the whole of the US. They love it. Mm. So that's where I want to take it, right? Like, we don't want to build cars 
for a local market yeah because you got to think globally yes. and, and, and and the reason why i travel a lot is because i'm trying to expand my mindset globally nice. right nice so that's what i'm saying we're not stopping yeah you know the sky's the limit there's no stopping yeah, yeah. black guy <laughs> <laughs> sky's the limit guys. so so speaking on traveling yeah you're gonna be joining with on the gravity show definitely yeah definitely. so definitely. bling best friend uh Joining my other buddy Plucky, shout out to you Plucky and yeah. Trish, you guys also, Trish not coming, Plucky's coming with yeah. my other buddy Fred, you guys will meet him along the journey. Uh, who else is coming? My brother from Cape Town, Bruce Dean Musa, I love you a lot. Uh, he always says I don't mention him, so now I mentioned you bro, so now you can go show everyone the video and say my brother mentioned me on the YouTube channel. So love you a lot bro, so he's also joining. Nice. What made you want to go for the show? I think, as I said, like it's just expanding our thinking, right? Yeah. And, I, and the thing is, when we hit the show, when we come back, yeah, the perspective is going to change. Yeah, so totally. I'm telling you, totally. what you see now, the cars that Chip has, I'm scared. Yeah, because the inspiration that he's going to get yeah. there, it's just going to be next level. Hundred percent. Right. So that's why I can't wait. I want to get inspired myself. Yeah. Um, I want you to be inspired as well. Of course. Right. See, and and we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna grow the circle. I mean. Next thing you know, we'll be having shows in SA, inviting the guys from the UK as yes, well. Definitely. So we're trying to grow a family. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. And, and like I always mention on the channel, it's about uniting the car scene globally. Uh, first of all, in South Africa and globally. Yes. So I'm looking forward to that. It's quite exciting. Yes. Do you think mm -hmm. we made the right choice with the E9? I think we made a brilliant choice with the E9. Yeah. It's not a common car. Yeah. Not a common build. And look... E9 on bags, beautiful color, the coupe. Hey, <laughs> brilliant choice. Nice. I think it's a brilliant choice. Why would your second choice have been? If it wasn't an E9, yeah. taken to the UK? Yeah. Uh, I think the 635 would have been my really? second choice. Definitely. Okay, why the 635? Everyone it, says that. It's just the look, man. There's yeah. just something about a 635 that's so wild. Nice. Especially a bag 635. Yeah. I mean, it's not common. Yeah. Right? And, and, and for me, Taking a car that's not common to the UK, yeah, it's it's, it's a showstopper no, for me, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, and a lot of people are scared, yeah, to modify these cars. Right? Yeah, everyone is like, don't touch the yeah. design, don't touch yeah. this, let's keep it OEM. Yeah, but we you know about it. Like, you only live once. Like, we know about that. Like. We're not ninety-eight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> very valid point. Cool. So thanks for coming through. Appreciate it. In closing, what advice can you give to our fellow youngsters watching? Yeah that want to be able to own a car like this, travel the world, yeah. and be as successful as you. Yeah. Yo, you're putting me on the spot. I have to. Because now I have to freestyle a motivational yeah, freestyle, talk. Yeah, now you know. <laughs> I mean, guys, for me, it's, 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 you just need to follow your heart, you know, like follow your heart, follow your ambition. I mean, there's a lot of guys doing jobs that they hate. Um, there's a lot of people doing things just to chase an end and they don't believe in their dreams, right? Just follow your heart. I mean, everything else comes naturally, right? I mean, even for me personally, it, it was never the plan. The plan was just to follow my heart and everything just comes with it, you know? So I think everyone knows the answers. Yeah. It's just that they're too scared to take the part, okay. you know? So I think the biggest thing is fear nothing, follow your heart and just take the, take the plunge, man. Nice. That's take advice the from the champion himself, Kling. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing, following the channel. We really appreciate it and we're looking forward to seeing you guys on the next episode and of course you know it's standard we have champs that always comment and interact with us so shout out to you guys and anyone you want to give a shout out to shout out to everybody ish i can't think of anyone now <laughs> but everybody everybody that i know everybody that i love shout out to you guys but guys thanks for watching and we'll catch you guys on the next episode